Good day everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about three horror stories and it's called Stories After Dark and then it's Japan, Malaysia and Hong Kong. This is by Kado Kawa Gem Pak Stars. Starting with Stories After Hong Kong. First things first is I want to make note of the artwork in the Hong Kong one especially. This is a little creepy Yuppie. in its colours and its exaggeration of certain features. This is very drastic change except maybe at the fifth episode which seems a lot more manga-esque in its design. Saying this, horror is subjective and what one person will find scary another person won't. And while all of the series were interesting, I would say that Hong Kong was the one that I really didn't get much out of. This is probably because I'd read a lot of legends regarding these before and it was just rehashing old ground for me. But if you'd went into this without knowing anything, I think that you would enjoy it quite a lot. But saying all that, it is really cool. I really like the muted and almost um, watercolor-esque colour tones in the manga or the webtoon here, especially for the Hong Kong one. The next one we're going to look at is Malaysia. Malaysia was probably my favourite of the three comics. This is because the, the artwork was a little more manga-esque but maybe more 90s, a bit more western orientated uh, or inspired rather, but the legends themselves, especially the one in the water, the lift and the midnight passenger, they were all really interesting and I quite enjoyed those most. I will say the hospital one was something that I'd basically read before another time. But apart from that, these were all fairly new ones to me. So I would recommend you read the Malaysia one first because that's the best of the three, at least to me. The third one is After Dark Japan. Now this one is more manga-esque than the other two. It's by the same as the others, Kadokoa, Genpask, Stars, but saying that again, this is all legends that I've read before in manga, or I've seen like creepypasta about them, I've heard books about them. There, there are various, various things that you've seen and all heard before, so there's nothing new here, especially for me. If I don't survive, tell my wife hello. So that's probably why I didn't get a lot out of them. I will say that the artwork in the Japan one, again, is a bit more traditional manga-esque. But it still keeps that weird, almost watercolour-esque, faded, muted tones that were really cool. I really like the Slip Mouth Woman episode, but that's because I quite like that legend. Anyway, so that's just the three webtoons from Stories After Dark. I will put links in the description if you want to check them out yourself. I will note that, again, I found them just a rehashing old content, but that was me. Maybe someone will get more of them more than I will. Uh, that's it, basically. So, I've been Trix, you've been you. Take care of yourselves, and bye-bye.